I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. The hardest thing when you start your business is believing. That's bottom line. You gotta start with an idea, and then you gotta believe in your idea. I can't tell you how many people uh, I'll run into. I got this idea, man. I got this idea. I got it. I got it. I got it. And it's like, what is it? And they tell you what it is and say, shoot, dude, that's dope. You need to go do that. You see him a month, two months, three months later. Hey, man, what about that idea you were working on? What, what you doing with it? Oh, man, I, you know, that is a good idea, isn't it? I haven't done anything with it, but that's a good idea. That's what you don't want to do. You get a great idea. That gift is given to you by God. He gave it to you for a reason. You act upon that idea. It doesn't matter if you're successful or if you fail. God gives you your idea. Think about it for a minute, look at it for a minute, make sure it's a good idea, and then you act. And But when I say think about it for a minute, I ain't talking about six months, seven months, a year, whatever, whatever. It gives you a good idea, you take it in action. So starting a company requires action. You gotta be an action-oriented person. After you come up with the idea, okay, how am I gonna execute it? How am I gonna accomplish the goal of this idea? Do your research. You know, you got the internet, you can find out anything you want on the internet, anything. And there are how to, how to do this, how to do that, how to find a lawyer. First, you gotta um, copyright the name of your company. First, you gotta, uh, you need a logo for your company. You have to have, um, what is your, what is the business of your company? You know, what, what is your company gonna do? What is it, what is, what is it that you're trying to accomplish? with your company. Then get you some teammates. You gotta get some people that you trust. Really important to get people that you trust. And um, that's the most, it's almost like a marriage. Right? You wanna get in there, get people around you that you trust, and then next thing you know, you they, they, they wanna go left, you wanna go right, and the company breaks up because simply because there's not an alignment, there's not an agreement. That's the toughest thing you can possibly do. It's the same thing, like I said, as far as being a marriage. Then after you got your team together, you've copyrighted, so on and so forth. You have, and uh, during this process, a lot of stuff can happen simultaneously. You put together your business plan. A business plan is nothing more than football team has a playbook. Your football team's having playbooks that are like this thick. A business plan is your playbook for the company. It doesn't have to be this thick though, but it's your playbook for the company. It's your guide. It's when this happens, we do this. When that happens, we're gonna do this. And boom, boom, boom. And you put together your one-year plan, your five-year plan, and if you're bad, you know, maybe a seven to 10-year plan, okay? So you got your short-term, your mid-term plans, goals, and then your, and then your long-term. Now, depending on what kind of idea it is, you're gonna have to rustle up some money. Now maybe it's sweat equity, like it's something, it's an online idea. Like if you guys were to come up with Facebook, that's just you in the coder putting it together and you put it online and there's not a lot of money involved, it's just you, two turntables and a microphone, figuratively speaking. But if it's a plan that's gonna require money, you're gonna have to hit your, um, hit your relatives, you're gonna hit, have to sell it to your neighbors, you can't get, if you can't get work in there, you have to get a gig, get a job. I wouldn't, I, you know, get a job, save your money. If it's a dope idea, put together your business plan. Call up some, I'd call up some business. Make sure you copyright it though, first. Can't stress that enough. But take it to some, uh, call up some schools, some um, professors at School of Business at SC or Pepperdine or wherever you live where you um, do some of your research and if you have a strong business school in your neighborhood, if they know that you're a young kid just trying to come up and you're asking for some advice, put it, get it in front of some professors, get it in front of um, some businesses, right? See when Nike is coming to town. Nike, for instance, you know Nike's gonna be in town when there's an all-star, when there's an all-star game. You know, um, there's McDonald's everywhere. Find out who the manager is at McDonald's. Ask him a bunch of questions. Where can, what does he know? Who can he point you to within the company? You have to unequivocally be persistent. Can't take no for an answer. You take no for an answer, you've heard the old saying, you aren't a loser until you quit. Well, it's true in business. If you 
If everybody in the world is going to tell you your idea is stupid, it's not a good idea, you should do something else. Only one that can tell you what's a stupid idea and a bad idea is God. Other than that, you got to keep it moving.